How's it going, Pokemon fans? Shane back here from Jolly Moms, and it's time for Game 2 with Eels. So, if you haven't checked it out already, go check out the deck profile. We'll leave that down below. Uh, also, go check out Game 1, where we played against Night March, and spoiler alert, we won. So, we're 1 0 so far, and let's see how Game 2 goes. I will see you guys in the game. Alright, so, Water Colorless, probably some version of Patch City, Water Box, whatever you want to call it. Uh, Lapras box. We're gonna go first. Uh, as slow as we set up, you definitely want to go first. Uh, we're definitely gonna mulligan. They are as well. Uh, thank you. I know what my hand looked like. No, Greninja. Okay. Okay. That's why we are playing the Giratina promo. So that's good. Um. Uh, I don't know if I want to start the Marshadow here or not. Um, it's gonna take him forever. Uh, no, I don't want to start Marshadow. I haven't tested this matchup at all, so this will be interesting. Uh, I got in as much testing as I could before the event with this deck, though with work. It wasn't as much as I would normally have preferred. Alright. So we got our Raikou. We'll go ahead and put a belt on him. Um... Do I want to go ahead and get the third Tynamo? Sure. So, we've got all our Tynamos, all Electrics, Giratinas here. Uh, we have our Guzmas. We are missing one energy. Okay. So, we'll go ahead and get our third Tynamo. And we're going to play in. Okay. Could easily be worse. I can leave Tynamo up there. Because since we're playing against uh, Greninja, I know it's not in any immediate danger. So we're just going to pass. Uh, we're probably going to evolve a bench to the electric in hand. Uh, Ultra Ball for another electric. And then N, depending on what we draw here. Oh, he got that heads. So... Now, if I evolve, it'll get rid of it, though. So, uh, yeah, we'll go ahead. Maybe we'll get lucky and see the Ultra Ball here. So, let's pitch the Mar Shadow in the Ultra Ball. We'll get another eel. Let's go ahead and get another Raikou online. And versus the Seeker. Put that in. With Greninja, I'm going to want to try and stick to as many of my Raikos as I can. Not use my two prize guys. So Now we didn't get what we wanted here, like at all. So let's just attach. Uh, he's still stuck in an awkward position. So, yeah, that's fine. He's going to go get his Frogadier. He's going to water duplicates. Next turn we'll probably Sycamore because we need to see a Floatstone and an Energy. Alright. Yeah. Uh, I'm going to go ahead and play my f fourth Tynamo just it helps us get more, you know, deal more damage with Raikou. But then we're going to Sycamore. 
we got the float stone. We got the energy. We got the compressor. So with compressor, um, we don't need that. Let's get a couple energy in there. That should be good. Now the thing is that we can't play Giratina right now, but we'll be able to drop it after he's bothered setting up a couple breaks and use some resources. So should be fine. All right, let's retreat and Thunderlance. Ah, I forgot to use my Dynamotors. Rip! I got caught ahead of myself. Oh well, it's fine. We'll be okay. It's actually almost a little bit better because I can probably set up a one shot on a Greninja a little bit easier this turn. So that us forgetting to Dynamotor may actually be beneficial. Oh, he's going to sick him more away, that whole hand. Ooh. Alright. So he's got himself a Greninja. He's going to get himself a second Greninja. And it has 130. Right now we're hitting for 110. So we'll Guzma the one on the bench. Uh, use a Dynamotor to put a fourth energy on Raikou. And we'll come in for 140. So he's just going to go get a third Greninja. Is he going to retreat to the Froki? Okay, cool. Alright. We're going to level ball for another eel. Uh, Guzma up that Greninja there. Let's go to our float stone. Let's use this Dynamotor. Now we will retreat to use our last Dynamotor that we can to the other Raikou. And Thunderlance for knockout. Okay. So he got the break. He's gonna go get another Greninja. Question is, what is that last card? Versus Seeker. So if he gets himself two energy here, he can hit for a fair amount. Uh, he should be water, uh, what is it, shadow stitching? So. If he shadow stitches, though, he can only deal uh, 80. Uh, if he moonlight slashes, though, he can get the knockout. So. It's up to him what he wants to do on that note. Uh, well, I need, what, six energy on a Raikou to pull off some shenanigans here, which we cannot pull off. Uh, I can't really, I can very easily, though, go into a Pikachu. So, we'll see what happens. Because we are kind of at that point now, if I knock out this break and he doesn't have a splash energy, okay, right, he's going to take the knockout on Tynamo. He's just got the normal energy, and he's going to Shadow Stitch. Okay. So, let's see here. Um, We're just going to Chorus. See if we can't get our Giratina that's still in here. And we did. Let's do that. Uh, right now, we're hitting for 130. That would be 150. Eh. Uh, I guess I feel like at this point we just kind of play the two shot game, which is fine. Okay, 
Because now we've got him where he can't shadow, or uh, can't shear again. <clears throat> Ooh, that Guzma, though. It's all right. We got a Guzma of our own. It's okay. We can play this Guzma game. Okay. I mean, I'm guessing he just grabs a frog of the year here. Yeah. Now, why he evolved that one, I'm not sure. Because he already has a splash energy on that other Froakie. I don't know why he didn't evolve that one. So he's going to give us this Froakie. Uh, I guess because he wanted to go for the bubble. Okay. Fair enough, I guess. Um, I'm not going to rush anything here. So. Let's just take our knockout and move along. There's another energy for us. gonna end again you get teammates hope he's gonna goose my okay it's fine we have the float stone so whatever all right so we'll float Thunderlance for knockout. We'll take another Greninja. And now we're holding a Guzma, so that's always good. So he's been having to waste a lot of stuff to try and get rid of this Giratina and been trying to play around it. But we've just pretty much, like, I mean, sure, we haven't been able to Dynamo her, but we haven't needed to. And he has got another Guzma. Well, he's going to take... Oh. He's going after an electric now. Alright. Alright. He is going to try and play this stall game. I see how it is. I want that other break, boy. Gimme. Bam. This is my break, sir. Alright. So we got one prize left. So, just in case, we do still have one versus Seeker to Guzma out of any situation. And that's it. Uh, we have, I think, do we do have two energy left in deck to retreat with if necessary? But I'm not really sure he has anything left. Because... He hasn't played a sing. No, he's got two versus seeker and two Guzman here. I guess he does have Guzman's left, but he just sycamored, so he's pretty much done here. Unless he randomly plays Pokemon Catcher, which I highly doubt. Okay. 
Yeah, he failed the bubble, so now we win. All right, so now we're two and zero. Pretty easy game against Greninja because of Giratina. Uh, that's always nice. We did start off really, really well too, almost optimally. Uh, we had a little bit of kinks there at the beginning, but nothing major. But uh, anyways, guys, that's it for game two with Eels. So two and zero, uh, beat Night March and Greninja. I'll see you guys tomorrow for game three. And as always, stay jolly.